Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will walk through creating a simple RESTful API using Node.js and Express and then calling that API using Angular. This is going to be a full stack JavaScript scenario so buckle up and let's dive in. First thing first, we will be setting up basic API using Node.js Express. Ensure you have Node.js installed on your system. If not, check out the links in the description for the installation guidelines. So open your terminal and create a new directory for our project and initialize it with npm. Go into that folder. And I will open that folder in my VS code first. And I will open the terminal in the VS code. Then I will run initialize the project with the npm. And use the minus y flag to accept all of the default values. Now we will install Express a fast and minimalist web framework for Node.js. Now let's create our server file that would be index.js. Now I will create a basic Express.js server and I will create a basic endpoint. So let's do that. Create an app. We'll use the port 3000 and then create a basic endpoint on that app. We'll use get method on slash data and just response. We will be sending a JSON as the response of this endpoint and response and message property. Hello world. Next, I will use app.listen function that will start the application, the server on the specified port. Specified port. I will use the callback function, and in this function, we will show a log in the console that will indicate that server is running successfully make sure to use back take save so that we could use variables in it this code will set up a basic server and create a single endpoint slash data which responds with a JSON object. Now you can test this API using Postman or simply by running the node index.js and visiting that URL in your browser. So let's do that. Run node.js text.js and now click on this link and put slash data and you can see that the text the response is visible next let's set up our angular application ensure you have angular cli installed if you are not there yet refer to the angular installation guide linked in the description let's create a new angular project by opening a new terminal and typing my terminal is already open, so I can just what's our do is for the use command ng new my dash app. You can name it whatever you want. Alright, the project has been installed. Now navigate into your new project folder that is cd my dash app app. Now open it in VS Code. So 
For our Angular app to communicate with the API, we will use the HTTP client module. Let's import it into our app.module.ts file that is in the source directory in the app folder and open this file. So here I will import the HTTP client module and we need to import it here as well. Just copy paste this and we we'll make sure this here open slash http Next, we will generate a service using Angular CLI. This service will make the actual API calls. So for that, we will run a command in terminal that would be ng generate service data. Data is the name of our service. Press enter and it will generate a service with that name in your app directory. Right. So this service has been created. Now let's use the HTTP client in our service to fetch data from our Node.js API. First of all, I will create a property or variable in my data service that is API URL equal to and here I will specify the path of my endpoint so go back here i will copy the base url that we want to use and paste here and then specify the rest api endpoint that we just created in our backend project that is slash data now in the constructor we will inject the http client service for that type private http client and now we will define a function get data and this data uh, this function will return an observable from the http get method so you will start http dot get and in that you will have to pass the endpoint url we have it in the api url variable now we can consume this service in a component to display our api data let's generate a new component for this for that open your terminal again and type the command ng generate component data dash display and then it will generate a new component in the app directory with the name data dash display Now in your data, dot, data display component file, use the service that we just created, open the component and first of all we need to create a property a variable with the name data, by default it will have nothing in it, create a constructor function and in that constructor you will have to inject the service, data service that we just created this will be the name of the service and this is the actual class name that make sure to import it as well that I did now I will use a lifecycle hook that will be on in it so whenever a component is initialized we want to run a logic Here we will access the data service we just injected and call the function that we created in that service and it will give us an observable that we can subscribe to. So in the subscribe function we will have to pass a callback function and this callback function will receive a data from the server from the API. Uh, I am here to get rid of this error. Make sure to import it as well on init like this. 
now i will use that data to save it in my component property with the name data finally you can display this data in your data display dot component dot html so let's do that so in order to display that data i will use curly braces like this and then specify the data variable and we will pipe it through the json pipe and save it <laughs> now we will run this application and test it in the server in the browser so this command will serve the application started and open a minus o flag will open the application in the browser and right now it is showing the app.component.html but i will remove everything from this component and instead i will use the data display component and save it open the inspect element and there i can see some errors it is throwing an error of the course policies go back to the backend and another package and then we have to import it as well and pass this function in the middleware of app this will bypass this error but now start the server again this time it should work reload the browser and in the network you can see that it sent the request to the backend and it got the response and this response is being shown to the front end so if you go back to the front end the data display the html i can use a use the property as well as if i can see it is equal to data dot message you can see now you can see that that data from the message property is being shown that wraps up all that wraps up our full stack javascript journey from creating simple api with node.js and express to consuming it using angular as always i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions or comments drop them below don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech content Goodbye.